Hey everybody, it's your Joe. 911 here for Let's Play Resident Evil Chris's Run. And I hope I did a very uh nice sounding death metal resident evil there. Because, you know, they they always death metal the title in this game. Except for Resident Evil 2 and, and 3. Other than that, they, they always, like, death metal it. Even in 5. That's the one thing Resident Evil 5 did right. As opposed to the 2 and 3. They death metal the title. Well, allergies are kind of bad right now. Uh, hate allergies. They piss me off. Like, you know, a lot. Um, now, this is Chris's run. Um, we're searching for the helicopter of there's no Barry Burton, unfortunately. We get to deal with Rebecca Chambers. Yay. You know, because she's so amusing. You know, she's such a great character. So unannoying. Well, we're actually going to... Um, I'm not going to read any of the documents in Chris's run, because, you know, I already read those in uh, Jill's run. And this opening cutscene here, it's the same, but, you know, I'm going to watch it just because I think it's funny. Because yeah, it is. Because I like the, uh, the uh, character-like roll call they have in the beginning. Yeah. Let's see here. Nice grass they got here. I bet it took them a long time to grow that field. It was Bravo Team's helicopter. Nobody was Again, Joseph looking like an idiot. Strangely, Barry being Chuck Norris. Wesker there. wearing sunglasses at night. However, we and Jill looking like an idiot, too. And then Chris... Ugh. Like, what are they even looking at there? Because they didn't see anything. And they were just like, hmm. I hope this isn't Cruz's grass. And I highly doubt they saw those killer dogs. They probably would have shot them because those killer dogs don't look very friendly. And they probably would have attacked them too. Yeah! Nice read there. By the way, A plus effects you got going there. It's better than most CG. And I'm actually serious on that because at least it looks. You know, at least they put some effort into it. No! Don't go! <laughs> Brad. You know, considering the lack of any sort of threat they have going on, you would think Brad would have just come down because they've only there's vicious dog mouths and they killed Joseph. Who cares about Joseph? They don't even like God, Joseph just uh he's an idiot. Joseph he's like a pointless character completely because let's see he's not in Resident Evil Zero, so they don't expand on there him. Are only three stars. In fact, Resident left Evil left. Zero only like Captain expands Wesker, on Rebecca jailed, instead of you know, the entire Bravo. We don't team. Know where Barry is. Kenneth just like disappears. Completely, Kevin doesn't have a single speaking line. Chris Redfield. Okay, no one does. Chris Red. Why is it that Chris Redfield? Why is it that Chris is the only one that they show? Um, Jill Valentine. Clips for other than them like loading their gun. Barry Burton. Oh, bad we won't get to see Barry in his awesome red beard. Rebecca this, Chambers. This run through. We get her instead. Alan Wesker. Wesker. We still get to see Wesker, though. Resident, <clears throat> Resident Evil. Ooh, they have escaped into the mansion. Where they thought it was safe. Yet, ellipsis. I don't know what happened. Barry! Where's Barry? Where's Barry? Well, I'm sorry, but he's probably... No. What is that? I'll go and check. Okay, Jill and I will stay in the hall in case of an emergency. Oh my god, Chris, you're dumb. Don't let them stay in the hall. The Chris. hall's dangerous. No, you're an idiot. No, don't go. Take care.
A dining room. Okay. Now, the major difference playing as Chris as opposed to Jill. Take a look at the inventory. Six slots instead of eight. And we get ourselves a knife as opposed to, you know, a gun. Don't worry, we'll get a gun soon enough. And, um... Chris does take less damage, and I'm also going to be using uh, first aid sprays, because I realized, like an idiot in the Jill's run, there's no ranking in this game. Hey, bro. Okay. Ah, get off of me. Yes! And I'm on yellow, fine. Oh, he, then he took a lot of damage, actually. It's Kenneth! Now he's become a mere shadow of his former self. Oh no! Oh no! Clip. And another clip. Thank you, buddy. I'm so glad you died. Now, the reason I just knifed that zombie is because since there's no Barry, we can't. Barry doesn't give us a free kill on that guy, so I just took him out, you know, for fun. I am on red, fi yellow, fine, though. Um, which does mean I'm at, like, 50% health below half of my health. Because the, the health system in this game is actually weird. I didn't explain it in uh, Jill's run. I will after this cutscene, though. Hmm. Wesker? Jill? Wesker? to Jill and Wesker. What is this? Hope this is not Chris's gun. Well, Chris didn't bring a gun. Even though he was shooting... You know, I just realized that. Chris is firing a gun in the opening cutscene, and he doesn't start the game with one. Why? Why? That is... That is not... That is not... Continuity, continuity game, you need to learn continuity. Okay, alright. Now the health system in this game. Green fine, when you're on green fine, that means you're anywhere from 50% to 100% of your maximum health. When you're on yellow fine, you're anywhere between 30% and 50% of your maximum health. When you're on caution, you are anywhere between 10% and 30% of your maximum health, and when you're on danger, you're anywhere from 1% to 10%. That's how it works. Also, as far as healing goes, three green herbs I found out is not a full heal. It only heals 90% of your health, as opposed to a first aid spray and a green and yellow herb mix, which is a full 100% heal, so... That's why I don't like mixing herbs a whole lot until, like, you know, the very end of the game when we're about to go up against, you know, the final boss. So, we've already got a good supply of, well, supplies here. Only problem being that, okay, let's sittle around that guy. Only problem being that we've only got one more inventory space going on. Also, if you remember, he did not get the lockpick. Hmm, the carving of a sword. Hmm. So, along with, you know, so Chris doesn't have a lockpick, nor does he have uh, a inventory slot. So, Chris's run, very annoying. Well, my aging hips gotta get up these stairs. Chris shouldn't have raging hip, a raging, aging hips because, you know, Chris is roid rage, at least in the fifth one, but whatever. So, let's go on through Meow. Now, we could go visit, um, Forest out here, but I'm not. Because, well, I can't pick up his item, so. 
This is what Chris gets as opposed to lock picks. He gets small keys. Yay! Small keys are fun. Except they're not. They are actually completely dumb. I hate them. In the remake, they're not so bad because the small keys stack in the remake. But in this game, they don't stack. So, if you have two keys, two small keys, it's two inventory slots. It takes up two small keys, takes up more space than a shotgun. That is beautiful. The logic in this game is just outstanding. Let's knife this 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 guy right in the off. Sort of glitch him. And he's dead. For some reason that... Okay, actually, yeah, there are two different zombies in this game. I never mentioned that. There are the uh, weaker zombies, which are, like, darker skin. And then there's... Whoa! Holmes. Did not see you there. And then the stronger zombies are, like, the completely white ones. Get off of me! Okay, I'm anywhere between 10 and 30% of my maximum health. Oh well, what? I'm not gonna let you beat me. Yes. All right, that was. Okay, complete waste of healing, I'm all out of healing, but at least I I really shouldn't have pushed that statue down until I took out the second guy, but whatever. No. Chris isn't that intelligent to begin with, so whatever. Okay, alright. Oh gosh, this hall. This hall's actually dangerous. Oh my. Let's see here, we're gonna take that meow out. We're gonna take out two of these guys. Let's see here. Hmm. It's still alive. What? That that that's garbage town. He vomited on me and oh my gosh, that is cheap. Cheap beyond belief. Okay, that one's dead. Okay, so those two guys are dead, and then that one's still alive. The third one, I didn't shoot. So I am going to make him go back to his starting point. Aha, aren't I devilish? Ain't I just a slickster? Reload. Unequip that so I run faster. Come on, guy. And he dodges. Let's see here. Let's go on down, yeah. Oh my gosh! You could, you, could you walk any slower? Well, I guess you could walk slower. You know, you could take like, you could put both feet on one step. Hmm. Let's go into here. What could be beyond this door? Whoa! Whoa. What? Oh! Oh no! Oh! Oh Sorry. no! I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> you must be from the Bravo team. Yes, I'm Rebecca. Rebecca Chambers. I'm a newcomer. I just joined the Stars Bravo team last month. Well, I'm really sorry. Are you all right? Yes. I'm Chris Redfield from the Alpha Team. Are you the only person here from the Bravo Team? Well, because the helicopter made a forced landing, I just ran into this house anyway, but I, uh... uh... I see. There's nothing else you could have done anyway. It's good you're here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But... It's strange. I serviced the helicopter recently, but something went wrong with the engine. It was such a short flight. Hmm. Alright, so... 
A key. What kind of key could it be? Isn't I just a devilish rhymer? A sword key. So, that'll be it for this part of Let's Play Resident Evil. Chris is right. In the next part, we will see, we will go and roid rage some zombies. Except we're not gonna roid rage some roid way. Whatever. Okay, I'll just see you guys in the next time. Uh, bye.